Hey everyone, Kirito here, and for those of you trying to build a house or any other structure that needs, I don't know, doors and windows, you kind of realize there's a lot more to it than just building a solid object to get it to open. Now, for this episode, this is going to be a two-parter that's going to teach you how to not only make doors, but windows as well. And we're going to teach you here because this is the... First, go into your watch. Once you're into your watch, go into the store, enter the store, and click Inventions. When you get to Inventions, search item and look for hashtag Builder's Guide. Once you type it in, hit Enter, and you should see two items. One for the Builder's Guide door kit, and the other for the Builder's Guide crowbar. Now, you're going to need both of them because, well, you can't open up the kit without the crowbar. So, for the first part, we're going to have to get our inventions. So we're going to go into our maker pen, hit open palette, go into our inventions, look for the builder's guy crowbar first, and then we're going to make it. For now, we'll just place it somewhere nice and safe. Next, we're going to get our builder's guide door kit and create it right in front of us. Now, some of this stuff is frozen, so you can't move it. So we'll just make sure what's frozen and what's not. Once we get that done, let's take the toolbar, pop it in there, and open the door. Once in there, we'll see everything we have to work with, which for now is your door, a variable chip, a comparer chip, a minus, a multiplication, two of them, a rotator, and a trigger volume. So let's clean things up a little bit. You can keep the box if you want, but I'm going to get rid of it. So let's delete everything we don't need. There you go. I think the frame is frozen as well. There you go. But first, let's take your door. And move it down. Next, it seems it's a little bit not straight. To straighten things easily, just go into your maker pen, hit rotate, open the panel, and settings, it's 90 degrees. 90 degrees usually flattens everything out pretty easily. Next, we are going to move our rotator into place. As so. You're going to want on the very corner of where we're rotating from. Next, we're going to put the trigger volume in place. And we're going to rotate it 90 degrees, like that, and have a bigger portion in front rather than behind. You'll see why in a little bit. Next comes the fun part the wiring. First off, we are going to need this equal sign to be a not equal sign. And next, we're going to focus on three attributes of the rotator. First one is, and this is going to sound weird, the rotator is always going to be on. So we're going to go into our variable, hit wire, and wire it straight to the on off switch. Next, you have to worry about speed rotation. Now the thing about this is we want the door to open at a certain speed, but when it closes, it has to be a negative number. So it closes in the opposite direction. For that, we're gonna need the minus sign. So let's take those, move it exactly where we need it. 
And we're also going to need the comparer, because the comparer is going to switch us between a positive and a negative. So first, we're going to loop the comparer. And then we're just going to parallel wire these to the minus. And what's going to happen is, in one state, and this is true, it's going to equal 1 and go through. And this is going to equal 0. And 1 minus 0 equals well, 1. When it switches around, when we toggle it, it's going to, this is going to be 0, and this is going to be 1. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1. And we're going to attach that to the multiplication. So this is going to be either a 1 or a negative 1. But we need something to multiply it with. So we're going to go into our variables, plug that in, and that's going to be the variable for that. Next is going to be what degree we want to open to. Now we want to open 90 degrees, just like that. Just 90 degrees, that's all we want. But we still need it to be 90, but when it's closed, it's 0. So instead of using both of these, we're just going to use 1. So that way it's going to be either 1 or 0. It's going to be 90 or 0. And for that, we need another constant. Put that there. Once we have that, we can start wiring this up a little bit more. So we're going to take our speed, which is this one, attach it to the green, and speed of the rotator. Next, we're going to take this, which is going to be our degree, apply it to the blue, which is our target angle. Now to get this whole thing going, we're going to need to configure our variable chip as well and tell it, red, we want it to always be on. We'll start with a speed of 10. You can always go faster if you want. And we want the degree, which is the blue signal, to be 90 degrees. And to get this going, we need our trigger volume to pretty much tell it that when we enter... Ooh, this is something I seem to have forgotten. We're going to need one more chip. For this, we're going to have to clone one of the chips in here. Thankfully, even if everything's not in the box, you can get it right here. So we're going to clone one of our minuses. Configure it to be an addition or a combinator. Because we need this in two different states. When we enter and when we leave. So this red arrow here is when you enter a zone. And we're going to connect that to it. But we also want the door to close when we leave the zone. So we're going to connect that to here. So we, when we enter it, it sends a pulse. When we exit it, it's going to send another pulse. And then we're going to connect that to our does not equal. Now I would say, you're probably wondering, why have I connected the rotator to the door yet? Well. I want to make sure the rotator is working properly before we connect it to the door because it's easier to rotate the rotator back into place than it is when it's connected to the door. So when we walk in, it turns 90 degrees. And when we walk out, it turns back. One small issue. The rotator is opening up inwards. Then when we leave, it opens back. Now you can have it like that if you want, but in this case, I kind of want it to open up the other way. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to flip this around. Like that. And I'm going to move it to the bottom of the door instead. Hopefully this works. And then, I'm going to take the very top of this. Oop. And wire it. There. Now when I enter, 
door opens, and when I exit, the door closes. Like I said, you could do it completely the other way as well by having putting it on the top and flipping it back around. I prefer the door opening towards me and then closing behind me. Well, that's all for now. Kirito out.